Hey guys, it's Mark Dickinson here, one of your HoneyBook business coaches. And I want to share a cool feature that Yotam and his uh, engineers and designers just put out. Uh, it's, uh, it's email authentication. It's so that you can use your email address with HoneyBook. So now your recipients are actually going to see an email uh, come directly from you. And that's pretty awesome here. So I'm going to show you exactly where to find this and where to go in and do it. Uh, it's pretty simple. When you're on the uh, pipeline here, when you land in the HoneyBook, you are going to come down to the bottom where a, the account setting is and then click on account. Uh, the first thing you're going to see here is a little bit of something new here. Uh, as you can see right here, email integration. Connect your Google account to have HoneyBook files and messages come directly from your Gmail address. And a lot of you have uh, asked that. There's been some debranding and all that other kind of requests that you guys have, and they are listening, so it's pretty awesome. I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. It's simple and easy. Uh, you're going to go ahead and pick one of your email addresses here, whichever one is applicable for your business. Mine is the Mark at Mark Dickinson uh, Photography right up here, and we're going to go ahead and select that. Now, and here, this is the Google authentication. This is normal. This is something you're going to see uh, as you give access to your email address here. Now, remember, you're not giving access to your password or information, but it just wants to have offline access. So when you are logged out, that HoneyBook can still send that email and redirect it and get it through your email address. So you want to make sure you click allow. So once you do that, you're going to see now the drop down box shows where you can pick either one of these and you can also delete the email address if you ever want to uh, delete it and change it to a different one. For instance, if you change your email address to uh, from mine is my name to like one that says hello at Mark Dickens Photography or whatever email address that you come up with. Um, so that is going to be the simple way that you do it. What we're going to do now as a little bonus, we're going to set up a new feed. We're going to go in and send ourselves a new message and see how it comes up. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so I was doing some testing this morning about copying and pasting images here. If you haven't already seen that, check one of my other videos here, but we're going to go ahead and send a new message here. So let's post that in here. We're going to type a little message. We're going to add my signature, and I think that looks good. We're going to go ahead and send this off, and now go check my email. I'm going to log into the account that I sent it to, which is this one right here. And we're going to see an email come in, Mark Dickinson. And if you look at that there, let's look at the headers. What? What? It comes from Mark at MarkDickinsonPhotography.com, which is pretty, really, really, really cool, as you guys have been requesting there. So that is uh, pretty awesome. And you can see that the name comes up as Mark Dickinson just like that. I am going to update it to make sure that it shows as Mark Dickinson Photography on my end. That's nothing that HoneyBook did. That's just my email client. Uh, showing uh, that name as that. So I wanted to say uh, Mark Dickens Photography. You can change that in your um, in your settings there as well. So, so thanks everybody for watching. Uh, thanks for liking and commenting. If you have a question at all about this, it's really simple and easy to integrate it. And they made it even easier by a two-step method to get it in there. So I recommend getting this set up. So that way all your clients don't ever have that question of like, what is mailman? Or when they reply back to you, uh, outside of the HoneyBook feed, you will always get it. You will always get those emails there and because uh, it is coming to and from your email address. So thanks again for watching, and I will see you next time.